Welcome to Zulala, where we answer some of nature's biggest questions. This time, it's should I be scared of an octopus? Well, should I? Surely not. Lovely, friendly, floppy things, right? Or deadly, camouflaged assassins? Let's find out. Welcome to Zulala. To be honest, I'd never even thought about being scared of an octopus. Or octopuses, or octopi, or octopodes? Anyway, our producer Chris maintains it's the one animal he's genuinely terrified of. So of course, we had to investigate and put him through the mill on this one. And to do that, we scoured the earth for a very special octopus indeed. The Kraken! No, it's not the Kraken. It's an octopus called Jeff. Jeff has some pretty unusual and nifty tricks up his sleeve. Or should I say suckers? But before we get to those, let's get to know his family. Octopus range in size from the pygmy, which has a body or mantle of about an inch and arms only three inches long, to the giant Pacific octopus, whose arms span 14 feet. Now that's scary. They all have the same basic body plan. Eight arms covered in suckers, soft bodies, two eyes, etc, etc. Oh, and three hearts. And a brain shaped like a ring donor, through which passes their digestive system. I know, food for thought. So even the basics are pretty freaky, but scary, really? Well, maybe, because this body plan means that even the biggest of these crafty cephalopods can squeeze through holes about the width of my finger. That's right, wherever you hide, there's no escape. <laughs> the only limit to their shape-shifting abilities is the one hard part of their bodies, their beak. The beak is just like it sounds, very similar to a parrot's and capable of slicing through flesh. Inside their beak is something called a radula, a tongue covered in tiny, rough, sharp teeth, which they can actually use to bore holes through the shells of crabs and lobsters. So, soft on the outside, hard as nails on the inside. Still not scared? Well, what if you knew that some octopus were actually venomous? The most dangerous of all is the blue-ringed octopus. About the same size of a golf ball, this tiny critter packs enough venom to kill 10 fully grown men. So it's a good job they stay right where they belong. Underwater, right? Wrong. Here's Jeff. Jeff is a common octopus from the National Marine Aquarium in the UK. He's actually a sheep, but we don't need to get into that mix-up. Jeff and her keeper, Mark, interact every day and Mark sets Jeff little challenges to make dinner time just that little bit more interesting. So when we heard that Jeff had a new trick to find her food, we just had to investigate. Jeff will actually climb out of her tank to get her food. All it takes is a small morsel of mackerel, a guiding steer from keeper Mark, and she doesn't hesitate. Now that's weird. So why does she do it? Well, although rare, it isn't unknown for octopuses to be seen wandering between rock pools in search of food. Once she's worked out there's nothing else out here for her, she retreats to the water, where she's much more at home, taking our camera with her. Hiding her food in jars gives Jeff a little challenge to think about before she gets to eat. Octopus are some of the most intelligent creatures in the ocean, and this trick is clearly no problem for her big brain. So there you have it. Perhaps producer Chris has a point. Maybe we should be scared of a super race of octopuses primed for world domination. Or maybe he's just a little bit weird.